Hi guys, this is Vicki, and this video is actually in kind of in reply of a Philly Tomcats videos number 75 and 76, Who I Am and I Miss Food. Uh, this video is going to be, I'm going to tell you a little bit about who I am, things you may not know, but if you've seen a lot of my videos, you might know, and uh, about food and stuff. Uh, when I was bigger, and I'll start by when I was bigger and my life before I've lost all of this weight, I had a bit of agoraphobia. I don't know if you know who that is, but for those who don't, it is fear of leaving your house. I had that because I would have a lot of anxiety. I would, sometimes when I went outside, I would you know, wonder, you know, if we were driving down the highway, or, uh, things would go through my mind, like what if, you know, the front tire blew when the car flipped, we'd all die, you know? <laughs> and, you know, I would just, all kinds of things would run through my mind and it was anxiety. So I always wanted to stay in the house and if, if I didn't have to leave, I wouldn't. And it came so bad to where I didn't want a job outside of home. And I would try to look for a job online. And uh, Tom was talking about social anxiety. And I kind of have some of that also. But let me start off by at home looking for work. I would also have the, the telephone anxiety. I did not want to talk to people online. And there were plenty of jobs available where I could be a customer service representative, taking orders, uh, f uh, but it would have to be on the phone. And I'd have to follow a script verbatim and talk to these people. And it was a good gig, but and I could schedule my own hours, but I found myself not scheduling very many hours because I didn't want to be on the phone with the people. I don't know if it's shy or nervousness, but I have that. And, and especially if I have to tell somebody something bad, like bad news or something, I will, or, or, or like if I have to pay a bill but I don't have the money, so call and make an arrangement. I hate those phone calls. I, I, I get scared. <laughs> and that I still have. You know, I still have that. As far as social anxiety, I do get uncomfortable around people that I don't know. I don't know how to, and um, of course, if I have a cocktail or something, I might relax and start, hey, how you doing, you know, and mingling. But under regular instances and circumstances, I, I don't know what to say to people if I don't know you. Like say I go to a friend's birthday party and she's got, uh, or a friend's child's birthday party or something. And I'm going because my daughter's their kid's friend. I only know the kid and the parent. Everybody else, I don't know. So I kind of feel out of place and uneasy. And unless somebody comes up and starts talking to me, I, I just kind of sit there and play with the kids or something. I, I don't know. It's just I'm very easily approachable but I don't know how to approach people very easily, especially people out of my comfort zone and um, people I don't know. Now, as far as the meet and greet, I felt extremely comfortable there because you, a lot, everybody there is going through the same, they're like-minded people like me. They are, they're going, you guys are going through the same things as me in life, and I know a lot of you, and I, you know, so I felt comfortable there because it was a comfortable environment, and, uh, and I knew a lot of you through YouTube, and I've even met some people that I didn't know through YouTube, which was great, you know, and I was comfortable talking with everybody there because we're on the same path, and it was easy to talk to you guys. Uh, so, Tom, actually, when I saw you make these two videos, uh, and, and I'm, I'm wondering if there's so many of us out there with these exact same problems or something similar. Um, as far as the, the, the leave in the house, the agoraphobia, that has gotten better, especially with the job that I've had for two years. 
it, it requires me to go out and drive around all day long. So I, I've gotten better with that, but I still have some anxiety. The social anxiety I still have a lot of. Uh, not too many people make a video about that stuff, so I'm glad that you made that video. Um, I'm just trying to go over my notes here so I don't miss anything. Uh, something that I'm afraid of, I'm afraid of Mother Nature. Mother Nature scares the daylights out of me. I'm terrified of thunderstorms. I sometimes worry and wonder if we're going to get an earthquake. When, yeah, I felt a few earthquakes. They were mild tremors, but they scared the daylights out of me after the fact. And uh, Let me look. As far as food goes, you know, you had made a video. I think it was video number... 75 or or 76 one of those where you missed food food I think a lot of us I can't really speak for everybody I could really only speak for myself but I I'm pretty sure a lot of us are on the same page with you we didn't get fat I'm gonna use that word because <laughs> that's what I was I was fat I didn't get fat by eating salads and uh, crackers. <laughs> I don't know. I, I, I got fat because I love food. I love the fast food. I love fried chicken. I love candy, candies and sweets and stuff. You know, I, I loved it. I love cheesecake. The cannolis you were talking about. I love cannolis. I love cake and candy and s'mores and all that stuff. I mean, that's how I got to where I was, 310 pounds. And just because you have surgery, I have to excuse my daughter checking out the fridge. I hope you're not looking for any candy. <laughs> Orange juice. <laughs> Don't drink it all. Mm -hmm. But uh, just because you have surgery, it doesn't make you want to stop eating that stuff. In the first, I'm 10 months, almost 10 months out now. And of course, the first first six months or so, you really can't eat anything like that. But now I'm getting to the point to where I can eat that stuff in small quantities, but I can eat it. And I'm very happy that I can eat it. My thing right now is I like to go to the store and get those Three Musketeers truffle crisps. And I will eat the whole candy bar. <laughs> And that is a weakness that I have because I missed the food also and I still miss the food and I guess this is just like I said all about you need to make better decisions I need to make better decisions and or I'm I'm gonna gain some weight back I don't want to do that I get into these modes you know, I'll go through, I'll get in the exercise mode and I'll exercise and work out and run and walk and all that for about a month or two. And then I get a little burnt out on it. I don't know how it happens, but then I stop for about a month or two. And right now, and I've been battling this, I've been battling the foods and the carbohydrates and the candy and a little bit of this here and a little bit of that there that I'm not supposed to have. No, I've I've been bouncing back between the the same five pounds for the past month, and um, I don't like that. So I I have to get back on track, and I, I keep on saying that on my videos because I keep on losing track, you know. But I still have about another thirty pounds that I want to lose, and the only way I can do that is to get back on track. Let's see. Now that's about the food and the exercise. A little bit of positive things about me. I'm a great friend. I'm a kind-hearted person. Uh, when I like you, you have a friend for life. When I love, I love with my whole heart. Um, losing all of this weight has opened my body and mind and soul to a, a brand new life. I mean, new things are happening to me and 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 they're all good they are um, a life I never dreamed of living before 
you know, before when I was afraid to leave the house, now I, you know, I want to go out and I want to do something and be somebody and, and, you know, if this is a dream, don't, I don't want to wake up, you know, and I got my GED. Monday I'm starting college to, for pre-nursing. Um, I'm traveling to places I never thought I would go before. And I have many travel plans in store because I almost don't even want to ever miss another meet and greet. I know I'm not going to be able to afford to go to every single one of them, but I loved it so much that I, I want to go to more, as many as I possibly can. There are some things in this life that, in my old life, that I'm going to leave behind. Some things that I will miss. Some things that I won't miss at all. But I'm loving this journey. I love the person that I become. I love the freedom that I that I found that I have. And I said this in one of my, my videos before, I felt like I was a prisoner in my own body. And now I'm free. And it's a really good feeling. I still might have some anxiety here and there. But I'm, I'm, I'm living my life now. And I love it. I do. <laughs> so that's me. <laughs> I hope I didn't bore you. And uh, I'll talk to you next time. Bye.